Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Morgan and I'm all about DIY and home decor on a budget. Now, I have some pretty old and yellowed blinds in my rental right now that I really want to cover up with some beautiful curtain. Now, you don't really hear about this very much, but curtain rods actually matter. The right curtain rod can elevate your curtains and actually add to the overall style and aesthetic of your room. On the other hand, the wrong curtain rod can actually detract from your room and cheapen the overall look of your curtains. So when you're shopping for curtain rods, make sure that you're taking into account the color palette of your room, the aesthetic you're going for in your room, what kind of metals that you're using in other parts of the room, and then use that to decide what kind of curtain rod you're going to buy. Now for my window, I couldn't find a curtain rod that I was vibing with, and then I had a thought. What if I made a curtain rod out of wood? A quick Pinterest search later and I found this amazing tutorial by Allie and Equal Road Home. I'll link their page below so you can check it out. I pretty much followed their directions to a T and they're pretty easy to understand, um, but I'm just gonna take you along with me in my journey of making these. So for your curtain rod, you're going to need a one inch dowel for the actual rod and a one and three eighths inch dowel that you're going to cut and use to hold your curtain rod on the wall. For your one inch curtain rod, you're going to want to measure the width of your window and then buy a wooden dowel that is a little bit longer than that measurement. You can actually make your windows appear larger by extending your curtain rods past the point where your window ends. To make the part that connects to the wall, take your 1 and 3 8 wood dowel and make two marks, one 3 inches from the end of the dowel and one 4 and a half inches from the end of the dowel. At the 3 inch mark, we are going to make a hole big enough for our 1 inch dowel to fit through. We used a drill press with a 1 inch drill bit because my dad had one and it was handy. But you can also use a 1 inch hole saw that attaches to your electric drill to make the hole. If you are using a hole saw, make sure to pre-drill your hole with an 8 inch drill bit to prevent your wood from splitting. Another tip to prevent your wood from splitting is to drill halfway through the dowel and then flip the dowel over and finish drilling the hole from the other side. Once you have your hole, use a miter saw or whatever saw you have on hand and cut your dowel on the four and a half inch mark. Then go ahead and do all that a second time so you end up with two brackets. To attach the wooden dowel brackets to the wall, we are going to use the dowel screws, which is basically a double-sided screw with treads on both ends. Pre-drill a hole on your wooden dowels on the end that is farthest away from the one inch hole you drilled previously. But before we attach it to the wall, let's make it a bit prettier. We had a couple of nicks in the wood from where we drilled our holes, so I used some wood filler to hide those spots. I then gave all three dowel pieces a light sanding with a 220 grit sandpaper and then wiped them down. Then it was time to stain them. You can stain yours whatever color you like. I used a mix of antique white and honey pine stain. This mixture helps to remove yellow or orangey tones from the wood. You taking my stick? Did she take my stick? I just did one coat of my stain and I felt like that was enough. Here's a side-by-side -side view of the difference that the stain makes. It honestly doesn't make a huge difference, but can you see how the one on the left has a little more of the orangey yellow tones than the stained one on the right? Once that was all on, I let it dry and then it was time to attach it to the wall. To screw our brackets onto the wall, Tanner inserted a dowel screw halfway into the pre-drilled hole on our bracket. He then put a drywall anchor into the wall by pre-drilling a hole and then screwing their anchor into the wall. We did find that when we used our electric drill, the anchor broke, so we just manually screwed the anchor into the wall. After that, it's super simple. Just twist the bracket into the anchor until your bracket sits flush with the wall. Then you just thread your wooden dowel through your brackets. For the curtain, we bought the Lenda curtains from Ikea, and in case you are wondering, they do come in packs of two. 
Some curtains only come with one panel when you buy them, but this one definitely has two per package. I am in love with these curtains. I think they are just so beautiful and elegant. And without further ado, here is the final review. Guys, I am so in love with how our DIY wooden curtain rods turned out. I can't stop looking at them. They're so beautiful. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are gonna try this DIY. Are you guys like me and have trouble buying curtain rods or is that just a me thing? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video and wanna see more, go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit that like button so I know that you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.